thanks for joining us here at Celtic Wind Farm. Today, I wanted to introduce to you a method of butter clarification called ghee. It originates from ancient India and it's used in a lot of their dishes even today. And it's very similar to regular clarification of butter, but the difference is we are going to simmer the butter for a long period of time, which is gonna add a nutty flavor, a depth to the flavor, and also make it more aromatic. If you store it properly, the ghee can last you up to five years. It needs to be kept away from UV light, um, UV rays, fluorescent lights, no heat. It needs to be in a cool, dry place, and you should be able to use it for up to five years. But I always say do the look and smell test just to be on the safe side. Um, here in the heart of the green swamp in Florida, um, I will put it in the refrigerator just to be on the safe side. When you store it, it's not unusual for it to go back to liquid form if you store it in your cabinet. And that's okay, it's still delicious, still usable, still safe to use. The texture, color, and taste of the ghee is gonna depend a lot on what the quality of the butter is that you buy. And I prefer to use organic butter. It is a little more pricey, but you get a better product. And also, you're still gonna be saving money by making your own ghee. I've seen ghee as high as $12 for a pint in the grocery store. So you definitely will be saving money by doing it yourself. One thing that I love about ghee is that it has a much higher smoke point than your, um, like your olive oil or any of your vegetable oils. The smoke point is 480 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 250 degrees Celsius. It's great for deep frying and it just adds such a great nutty flavor to it. So I highly recommend ghee. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, these are the items you'll need. A glass pan. I wouldn't get one that's too large because it's then more likely to burn on the bottom. Your measuring cup, a strainer, a coffee filter, your pint jar with a lid, and of course your quality butter. Four sticks will make one pint. We just go ahead and we put it at 250, preheat the oven, and wait for it to preheat. While we're waiting for the oven to preheat, I'm going to go ahead and open up my butter sticks and just place them here in my glass pan. And if any of you guys watching have made ghee before and you've personalized it with your own spices or herbs, could you please comment in the comment section and tell us what you did that worked or maybe what you did that didn't work so well. We'd just love to hear some advice on ways to make it unique. And remember, four sticks makes one pint. And a little bit of ghee goes a long way. You'll notice that once you make it. It doesn't take much. It has a very intense flavor. All right, now we'll just wait for our oven to preheat at 250 degrees. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven at 250 for 90 minutes. And I do recommend checking on it at least once or twice. It's okay for it to be a little brown because that adds more complex flavor, but you certainly don't want to burn it. So we're gonna put the timer on for 90 minutes. Okay, 90 minutes is up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it looks beautiful. See the solids, how they separated from the fat. Now we're gonna take it over here and let it cool down a little bit so it's easier to handle. And then we'll start the straining process. Okay, so now we're gonna take our strainer with the coffee filter and we're just gonna place it across here. We're 
we're going to get our stainless steel ladle. And we're just going to start ladling the butter, the melted butter, into our little strainer device here. And it does take a while to drain. And just keep doing this until all the butter has been strained. And just look at that beautiful ghee down there at the bottom. And you will notice that some of the milk products is a little brown tinged and that's perfectly fine. It's not burnt. That's gonna add the nutty flavor that makes ghee so delicious. Here are the milk solids left in the pan. I don't like to let anything go to waste, so I give this to my dogs as a treat and they absolutely love it. Whenever my progress slows down, I change coffee filters so I can speed it back up. Okay, so here we have our final product all strained out and ready to go. And we're just gonna pour it here in our little pint mason jar. Look how beautiful that is. And now we'll just put the lid on, make sure it's clean. I washed everything real good beforehand, of course. Here's the ghee. It is absolutely beautiful, golden colored. And if you put this up in the proper place, away from excess heat, UV rays, or fluorescent light, it can last you up to five years. This will solidify and we'll let you see it when it's completely solidified. Hey y'all, we're back with the finished product. Here's our ghee. As you can see, it's solidified. It wasn't hard to make at all. It did take a little bit of time, but you get, in my opinion, a much improved product. It's preserved for up to five years if you store it the way we talked about earlier. And in my opinion, the flavor is better. A little bit goes a long way. And I hope you guys enjoy this. We will be back with more preservation techniques and also life on the farm and gardening. So please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.